Hello everybody and welcome to hole and number 6, a par 5 of the Glen Monarch Estate in the Glen Monarch Mini Tournament video sponsored by Gold Clash and Playdemic. So let's go. Here we're going to start by using a power 3 ball. Now I'm using a basic ball and then the basic ball is basically just telling me there that okay, then we're just gonna lay up and we're not going to do anything special. There is two ways to play this hole which there is one very aggressive way where you will have to go with most likely a power slice when it comes to getting the ball to the green in two or you will have to just play the more conservative line layup and then you have a shot for the pin from distance with your long iron but it's going to be a general birdie hole this is a hole that is normally very boring to play in tour play as everyone is basically getting a birdie as it's not worth it to pull out a, a power five ball and play it, play it very aggressively here. But uh, also for players playing in rookie division, you do not have the curl most likely on your second shot. And now I'm talking about the wood club. And now I'm not talking about using the sniper or using the viper, but you will have to have a high level big dog to maybe get that ball to green in two. So have, having in mind that it most likely just going to be a birdie hole here and everything else is going to be a huge bonus. So you're not risking too much. That is going to have get to leave you to play with a basic ball like I'm doing here now, or maybe a power one ball and save the power three balls to a different uh, occasion. The drive is going to be played 10% downhill. Second shot is not going to be any over adjustment or under adjustment whatsoever. The third shot though, when we do lay up, is going to be downhill 10%. So you can see here now I'm using the horizon as a second club and I would say you can use whatever second club you want if you do only plan to lay up. Then I'm using uh, as much top spin as possible to gain as much distance on the other fairway and I'm also using curl. And if you do have a ball with side spin, you don't need to use curl. So it kind of, yeah, just take each other out there a little bit. As I'm playing with a basic ball, I use curl instead of using side spin. And, but I would of course suggest to use side spin if you do have that on your, on your ball instead of using curl as curl is very hard to control. Now we're, we got over the rough and the sand line there and now we're going to have a chance for the pin. And you maybe you know have a hard time to remember all the elevation adjustments and stuff but you can find everything listed very nicely uh, underneath the hole on golfclashtommy.com. Check it out and you will be able to find elevation, not just for hole number six here, but for every other course in this game. We get over there and now we're going to approach the pin. Uh, long iron here that you feel comfortable with. You don't really have to play with the one that I suggest. Uh, and here you can see we are in between clubs, such a crappy spot. Uh, in between clubs is not something we would have uh, be if we play with a power one or a power two ball or something like that. So choose the long iron that you feel the most comfortable with. This is not going to go in the hole as I do have the wrong club. So this was hole number six for the Glen Monarch Mini Tournament. The video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. And I want to wish you the best of luck in the tournament.